Thornton Creek's Artifact Day helps build community across generations as students share about their family history and culture. The future looks bright at BF Day as counselors help students explore the possibilities with annual career week. And we've also got news from John Muir Elementary and Orca K-8 where black families celebrate Parent Involvement Day. All this and more coming up on First Bell. I'm Carrie Wheeler, the proud principal of Ulins Elementary School. And the horses are taking over First Bell. What's up, SPS? I'm Maya Wilson. And I'm Tiga Jozo. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. We're excited to bring you the news from our new school building. This beautiful campus was funded by taxpayers through the Building Excellence Capital Levy. We love our new school and we want to thank everyone who voted for the levy. Now we've got some awesome stories to share, so let's get into it. It's a different kind of show and tell at Thornton Creek's Artifact Day, where students are encouraged to bring in special items that represent their family's history and culture. Here's Emily with more details. Photos, stuffed animals, and traditional clothing from around the world were just a few items Thornton Creek students displayed during the school's Artifact Day. The event bridges the gap between generations and cultures. The tradition began after Principal Jared Kishner and community partner Dr. Donald Felder came up with the idea as a way for students to share more about themselves. Tell me about this dress. Part of Artifact Day is connecting students with their elders in their community. Grandparents, aunts, uncles, and neighbors were invited to serve as listeners and help guide students in conversation about their items. We don't Mickey game told this little guy. Dr. Felder called the event the best day of his educational experience. When we connect children to their history, their origin of language and their culture. Everybody wants to know more about each other and that breeds kindness. Artifact Day has proven to be a great way for the school to connect with its community. This is Emily Lawu reporting for First Bell. Back to the studio. Counselors at BF Day organized a career week for fourth and fifth graders where professionals discuss their pathway to success. Covelli has the story. During career week, Counselors gave students the opportunity to see themselves in different professions. Guest speakers encouraged them to explore their possibilities by diving into careers in public service, the arts, STEM, trades, and more. We stick an IV in your hand and we give you drugs. For military service women and music executive, the school principals and screenwriters, BF Day counselor John Taylor and counseling intern Shelley Frappier pictured students had plenty of exposure to different career paths. We have guests that are um, from professions that are like tech as well as like Amazon. We have professions around um, education. We have Dr. William uh, Jackson coming from Nathan Hale. And then we also have people that are from like Atlantic Records and from other professions that maybe kids maybe aren't necessarily exposed to. And then we also have some professions around being a firefighter and being an EMT. We want all of our kids to feel like they can be successful, not just today, not just tomorrow, but like in you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Career Week ended with a special guest speaker, Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal. She was impressed with the students' curiosity. I think it's just important for how kids think about their possibilities and their futures. And I think for a lot of kids, they may not think ever about being a member of Congress. I want people to be able to think about this as a possibility for them. And even if they don't want to do politics and running for elected office to know why it's important for them to engage in our democracy and to vote and to be curious. This is Covelli Oriana reporting for First Spell. Back to our studio. John Muir Elementary and Orca K brought black families to campus for food, fun, and fellowship in honor of National African American Parent Involvement Day. Mothers, fathers, guardians, and extended family came together with students and staff to celebrate black history, black culture, and parent involvement in their child's education. At John Muir, the school hosted a career fair, and families had the opportunity to see firsthand what their children experience and learn in the classroom. At Orca K, families heard from students who shared what their culture means to them and how the school is helping their students achieve their dreams. Both events highlight just how important it is for parents to show up. I grew up hearing that it takes a village, and this is the village, this is the community. So having uh, parental uh, input and having them just involved in the day-to-day -day aspects of the school is very important. And it just shows all kids that you care and we care and that we're all in this together. We've got some quick important announcements, so get ready for the rundown.
application for the 2024-2025 Seattle Preschool Program are now open. This program offers high quality affordable preschool to all three and four year old children. All SBS families are invited to join Family Connectors University, a 10 week online course designed to help caregivers support their child's learning in school. The course is $37 and scholarships are available for those in need. The spring session begins April 2nd. That's it for this episode. Be sure to tune in next month because we've got some very special stories coming your way. And before we go, we want to say congratulations to our friends at Villains and other students around the district who are competing in the Global Reading Challenge. Good job! To learn more about these stories, visit our website. Until next time, I'm Maya Wilson. And I'm Tiga Gentle. We'll catch you later for First Bell.